Hey gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a review and demo test of the Dior Backstage Powder No Powder Face Powder. Oh my god, this one has like a very long name, but um, so this is the powder I'm going to talk about. So if you guys wanted to see this powder in, in action, please keep watching. All right, so this is what the powder looks like. And I got in the shade 3 Neutral. And as you can see at the moment, it's well loved. I've been using it probably like from last four to five months. And I've been really, really enjoying it. So what I'm going to do is, as you can see, my face looks really, really glowy. The reason being, I actually used Glowish. Um, I will, I have done a demo review video. I'll just leave the link right up there for you. Because it's, it's called Glowish and it is actually a really, really glowing product. So I've been wearing this probably more than an hour and I have not powdered my face or anything like that. So I'm just going to take my foundation brush and I'm just going to swirl it around. And I'm just going to powder my face with that. Like this, this powder, it's kind of like a luminous powder. Um, it won't completely mattify your skin if that's what you're after. I hope you guys can tell on the camera as well. So this side I powder and this side is without powder. So powder and no powder. So as you can see that like after applying the powder, my skin still looks luminous, that it's not like flat matte. I don't know how much you can tell on the camera, but it looks like it has blurred my skin just a tiny bit. Not too much, just a tiny bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply the powder on the other side as well. So I have fully powdered my face and this is what my face looks like. It's It just looks beautiful. I just don't know what else to say. Like... It will mattify your skin just a little bit, but still your skin will have a little bit glow to it. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly finish the rest of my face and I will see you guys in a bit. Guys, so this is my finished face. Um, I have not applied any facial spray or anything like that. As you can see, after applying the powder, it is not powdery at all. I used to love Charlotte Tilbury's airbrush flawless finish powder um I still like this it's not that I don't like it but since I bought this I've been using this one constantly compared to this one They're both very very similar whereas the Charlotte Tilbury one is on a little bit on the matte side not a little bit it's on the matte side and the Dior one is luminous it does have a little bit glow to it so um, but yeah, once you blend it out, as i shown you guys the swatches on my hand, they blend beautifully. Um, but for some reason, I like the dual one just a tiny bit more, just a tiny bit more. Um, again, both of them, they are very, very similar, to be honest. Like, no matter how many times you wear this one a day, it does not feel heavy or cakey. And it's the same with this one as well. No matter how many times a day you apply on your face, it does not give you this, like, powdery, cakey kind of finish it just look beautiful i don't know what else to say 
Um, I actually don't carry my powders with me, but I have tested those out, like coming from work and then applying it and then just going somewhere and coming back and applying it again, the powder, just to see how it looks on my skin and all that. But like on daily basis, I I don't carry anything in my makeup bag, like in my bag. I don't touch up apart from my lip balm. That's all I carry or like lipsticks in my bag. Um, but yeah, I don't carry powder or anything like that. I think the price point is very similar as well. As well. Maybe Charlotte Tilbury one is a little bit more expensive. I am not 100% sure, but they both are very, very beautiful powders. I will say if you have dry skin, uh, you will actually really, really like this because like it will set your makeup and it will set your makeup without drying out your skin. But if you have oily skin, you will actually really like the Charlotte Tilbury powder. So yeah, if you have really, really dry skin, you may not like this, but you will definitely enjoy the Dior Backstage powder, no powder, face powder. This is beautiful. Um, yeah, again, since I bought it, I've been using it since then. I probably picked this up in July. I love this powder, it's beautiful, and I have not put it down. And since I bought it, this one I haven't even touched it but as you can see this is also a very well loved powder so I had I hit a big pan on it so which is which is telling you that I do love this powder um as far as the only corner I can think of it's I don't like wearing any of these under my eyes the reason is I have really really dry under eyes and I just don't like using compact powders under my eyes. I don't know, for some reason, they just don't go well under my eyes. So under my eyes, I always use the translucent powder. So this one is from Laura Mercier. I only use this one uh, to set my concealer. For the rest of my face, I love using these. That's, that, that's the only con. I don't like using these under my eyes. This one dries out my eyes. And this one, I feel like it just does not set my concealer. My concealer will disappear if I will set my under eyes with the Dior Backstage Powder. But for the rest of my face, I just love it. And for in between touch up as well, I, I love this powder. So just that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please take care of yourself, stay safe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye my gorgeous.